Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we wish we could have done this at the church, but um, as you can see, the snow is heavy outside and the virus um, is prevalent. So we have decided uh, to do this via Zoom and um, I and just thank everybody for joining us today. It's, um, um, it's just wonderful to see so many of you with us today as we um, celebrate my brother Tuanga, uh, Tuanga's life um, and remember him, um, all that he has done, all that he means to each and every one of us. So thank you so much for being with us today. Um, please bear with us. This is Zoom, so <laughs> it's not going to go as smoothly as we'd like, but um, we uh, hope that um, you will stay with us till the end um, and that um, everything will go smoothly. We hope not to make this too long. We're trying to um, finish this in an hour and a half, but if we go a little bit over, uh, please bear with us as well. So right now, um, I'm going to start us off. Uh, with an opening prayer. And then after that, um, we'll have an opening hymn. Um, our friends, Purema um, Saktok and his family and Pu Laldin Puya have graciously um, sent in a video uh, leading us in the song. But before that, let's bow our head in prayer. Thank you. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, bringing us together today. Um, to remember Tuanga and um, what he meant to each and every one of us. Lord, you brought him on this earth. Um, he, um, he made a difference in the lives of so many of us. Um, thank you for the life that you gave him here on earth. Thank you um, that you were with him. You guided him. You blessed him. You led him, Lord, and now you have taken him back home. We miss him terribly, um, but we know that he's in a better place with you. So we thank you, Father, um, that you have given um, us wonderful memories. Um, that we will always remember him. He will always live in our hearts and minds. Um, and all that he did will not be forgotten. Um, and I thank you, Father, that you brought uh, so many people here together um, to pay tribute to him, to just uh, attend his uh, memorial service and to celebrate his life. Um, be with us, Lord. We lift up our program to you from beginning to end. May it be glorifying to you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Okay, so right now we're... Uh, going to be singing a Mizo hymn. It's, it's, uh, the title is Tsandamtu uh, Mangai Nakashia, and in English it translates to um, I know the love of um, my Savior. So let me play that video, um, and if you know the song, please sing along with us. Thank you. Thank you.
that was my brother's favorite hymn. When he was young, he used to sing that song all the time. And uh, so I want to thank uh, Purama and Pudin Pui and their family for um, preparing that video for us. So right now, um, I'm going to ask my sister, Zari, um, to give us some highlights of T's life. Thank you. Kauzarin tuna kanao tsansin tlem aron soyang kalome. Coming um, and um, celebrating and remembering my brother, Larry Duang Parma, so with us. Larry Duang Parma, so my brother is better known as T to most of us. He was born on September 25th, 1963, in the, uh, as the third of five children born to Mar and Lali Malsoma in the town of Tsampai in Mizoram, which is a, a state bordering Burma in Northeast India. T was an exceptionally beautiful baby. And as the first son to be born to mom and dad, he was their pride and joy. Dad named him Lauren Tuanga, which in Mizo means he whose Lord in whom he has faith prospers. His middle name, Mar, is um, our Mizo clan name, and it means north. His last name, Malsoma, means he who is blessed. So his full given name, Lauren Tuanga Mar Malsoma, means he who is Lord, in whom he has faith, prospers. He is a member of the clan from the north and the son of the one who is blessed. T's life reflected his full given name. He grew up healthy and well adjusted in Mizoram, Northeast India, till he was five years old, in Bangalore, South India, till he was seven years old, in Pune, West India, till he was nine years old, and in College Park, Maryland, USA, from age 10 onwards. He was blessed with intelligence, a quiet, even-tempered disposition, a stoic spirit, a strong and athletic body, and an artistic talent for drawing and painting. He never took on too many things at a time. He dedicated himself mainly to work, family and friends, and sports. T did well in school, making it the honor roll each year, and was known for his artistic talent and sports activities. He won several war awards in sports, including one for being the MVP of his soccer team at Greenbelt Junior High. His high school friends thought he'd go on to major in art in college, but he graduated from the University of Maryland College Park in 1988. He then worked for GRF CPAs and advisors in Bethesda, Maryland for some 22 years. Team met Nikki in 1999 and they got married in 2000. They had two beautiful children, Jenna and Joshua, before they separated. A divorce was never finalized, but she continued to provide for Nikki until her death in December 16, on December 16, 2018. She was diagnosed with a rare form of oral cancer in 2015, which went into remission after surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. The cancer returned with a vengeance in 2021 and T fought against it valiantly, enduring a 13-hour surgery, which left him without a tongue and a larynx. The surgery was successful, but the cancer had spread to other parts of his body, and the Lord took T to his eternal home on December 15, 2021. T was baptized as an infant and grew up in the Presbyterian tradition. 
He attended Sunday school and was also a member of the Neighborhood Baptist Church's Awana Club for Boys. He was ordained as a deacon at Berwyn Presbyterian Church um, and in Maryland, and he served as auditor of finances when asked to do so. He was a member of Berwyn for many years and was on the, uh, the church's softball team until he was diagnosed with cancer in 2015. He received tremendous prayer support as he stoically fought the cancer. He endured major surgery to remove the cancerous part of his tongue, radiation and chemo in 2015. By God's grace, the cancer went into remission for almost six years, allowing T to go back to working full-time at GRF. I had hoped that he would draw closer to God and be more active in church, but he developed a passion for golf instead and seemed to be playing or watching golf every chance he got. So when the cancer returned with a vengeance in February of last year, I prayed for holistic healing in spirit, soul, and body for my brother. I wanted to be sure that he was in a right relationship with God, that, this, that his name was written in the, book, in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I earnestly prayed about it. One day, the spirit within me prompted me to do something I would never have thought of doing. And that was to ask God the Father to make good, to make good his claim upon my brother's life when he was baptized as an infant. I prayed as the Spirit instructed me with hope that God would also grant T a miraculous healing in body, soul, and spirit. When T passed away, I said to the Lord half questioningly, so Father, he took him home, and the Lord spoke clearly to my heart saying, he asked me to bring him home, and I did. That brought incredible peace and comfort to my heart and mind. He had gone home to be with the Lord. Um, free, free from all the unbearable pain and suffering that kept him bound from living fully. He would never want to go back to this life. And it, was, and it would be selfish for me to want him to, especially since we will see him in the glorious presence of God Almighty, where there will be no more tears, no more pain and suffering. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to be watching uh, a little um, slideshow or video of uh, T's life. Um, I just wanted to add to what my sister said that um, at the end of his life, um, he consented to return to church. Um, he became a member of the Mizo United Methodist Church. I wanted to add that. Thank you.
Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to ask uh, Pastor Danny Darakuma. Danny is um, our cousin, first cousin, and um, he is a pastor um, at uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, if he can speak up, uh, there's a lot of people. Oh, I see him. Okay, great. Um, let's, uh, let's pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we, we come to celebrate a life well-lived. Uh, Tuanga was uh, very unique and had a, a, a quiet passion and a love for life expressed in ways uh, through, through artistry, through the sports that he loved, uh, through his dedication to his work, and for the way that uh, he loved his family. Father, unfortunately, uh, that life was cut way too short. And in the midst of our celebration, we also mourn that he is no longer here with us uh, in, in person. We do thank you, Lord, that he is no longer in pain and no longer suffering. We, we know how difficult uh, those last days were. But I pray, Lord, that, that we here who are left behind uh, would especially remember the joy, the, the, the friendship, the companionship, uh, the, the brotherly love uh, that we experienced uh, while he was here on this earth. And I pray that especially you would draw close to his family from auntie, uh, Auntie Limi, that uh, you would bring her comfort, that uh, you would remind her and all of us, uh, and especially uh, the, the family, of your love for each one of us, of your promises in Scripture, that we will be re reunited with those uh, who have fallen asleep in you. We're grateful, Lord, that um, he was able to return to, to church, much of joy, uh, bringing much joy to his family, as uh, uh, Zari and Zawali mentioned. And I, I pray, Lord, that, uh, that as we go forward from here, uh, we would cling to those promises of Jesus returning soon in the clouds of heaven to finally put an end to all sin and suffering and to restore life as you intended it to be lived without sorrow, without sickness, without hardship, without death. Lord, may that day come soon and may we be found ready and waiting to meet Jesus when he returns in the clouds of heaven. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Danny. So at this time, um, members of the family are going to be speaking. Uh, so let me ask Mom Lali Malsama to, um, to come up and say a few words. Wait here. ปลาลาลินจวงอ่ะมินกะลิซันตาอีทุสันฮิฮาลสะเตมะยามาเซบวยนาฮิอันลอมทุสุยกะตานะปวยหมออ่ะอดัมเลาะชุมติขานมีห
มีอัตตัยไงรบะมีอวินรบะอัสไซดะมาอัฟฟาติปอยวินโลอะบราเดอร์อะซิสเตอร์ติจวาโปอวินติปอกริงไงโลคัดอย่างมีอะนี่อะ
that's when I, after that point on, we were sort of like kindred spirits because we both, I, then I realized we were both very much alike in certain aspects. We both loved sports. We had at least the same taste in music, at least with, the, with Zep. And uh, we loved humor together, more so dark humor, if you would like, like to say it. And uh, <clears throat> the, uh, when most of you, as, as you probably saw that through the slideshow, and Zari mentioned it, uh, Tuama, was, Tuama sorry, was very artistically gifted. He designed the first uh, T-shirt logo for the uh, MYA, which is the Mizo Youth of America. That was the forerunner of the now existing uh, Mizo Society of America. And unfortunately, I, I tried to find that picture to give it to Dwight, but I just couldn't find that logo. So he was very artistically gifted in, in, in one of his hidden talents a lot of people don't know about him. And the other thing that, uh, as I mentioned, he, was, uh, he loved sports, football and baseball. He played a lot of baseball when he was younger, I remember. And as he grew older, golf became his passion. When uh, uh, one, oh, another thing I was going to say about us and we were like is that uh, we both actually had the same amount of hair when we were younger. It, it's hard. As he got older, of course, he, he combed his hair back, straight back. Whereas I combed my hair a little differently and I could hide my bald spots a little better than he would. But he finally gave it up and he just shaved on his head. So uh, the thing uh, that, uh, another thing that, um, one of his gifts my cousin had was he became a certified public accountant. So he was very successful at work, the CPA. And we, I believe he was one of the first, if not the first, Mizo to attain that certification, very uh, prestigious here in the U.S. And uh, in his final days, I remember after that first surgery where they took out part of his tongue, I visited him we visited him at his house and didn't know exactly how to approach him uh did we go in there quiet and, you know try to be respectful and know we knew beforehand he was hurting but because of both of our wicked sense of humor i said nah so when i saw him i said i said repeat after me i heard you had surgery repeat after me I, then i'll know if it was true i, I said then i said repeat these words suffering succotash so I, in my best sylvester the cat imitation but uh, i got a really good laugh out of him so i'm uh, i my purpose my intended purpose said was successful so i'm hoping that uh when we meet get, meet again Tuana, that uh you will uh not get mad at me for bringing this up at this moment in time so we will we're going to miss you brother and uh, I, uh, as for uh, Jenna and um, Joshua, I'm sure they will carry on your legacy among the family. For that, I'm sure. Of. Thank you. Thank you, Spunik. Um, next on our list of speakers is my brother, Lex. Is he here? Let me see if I can find him. Yes. Okay. Um... Here, I haven't prepared anything to say, but uh, seeing um, some guys, I see uh, Mike Schaus there. How you doing, Mike? Um, uh, my eyes aren't that good, so I, I can't see um, anyone else that is there. I see Rick. Um, just bringing back some of the memories we had uh, growing up. Um, um, I want to... Um, Thank you all for uh, remembering my brother. You know, the, having a brother is is unique. You know, you, you go through life and um, uh, you, you, you can have friends, but um, sorry, but a brother is, um, is very different. Um, 
But um, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Well, I'll try to continue. So, um, thinking of the um, all the good things. Well, um, uh, um, let me just end it this way. Uh, I'd like to say, if there's one thing I remember, uh, my brother, oh, what I remember him for was, oh, uh, well, when we were young, uh, I think I was about maybe 10 years old and um, our neighbor down the street, uh, David, uh, David Barker, uh, he came by the house one day and he said, uh, um, do you have guys have an extra pencil? And in the 70s, you know, even a pencil wasn't that easy to get. You know, we had a drugstore down the street. You know, we, we don't have Walmart where you can buy, you know, 100 pack, a pack of 100 pencils for, you know, a few dollars. Um, so uh, I think he had a homework to do. He came by the house. He knocked on the door and he asked, uh, do you guys have a pencil? Um, to sell me, and uh, uh, my brother T was there, and he came out. He, he had a brand new pencil. He said, "Yeah, yeah, I got one." And uh, I said, "Yeah, sell it to him for fifty cents, because we could get you know two bubble gum packs or something." <laughs> and uh, then he said, uh, "Here you go, five cents." And I said, well, "What are you doing? Selling it to him for five cents?" And he said, well, that's a going rate today. You know, everyone, you know, get a five cents for pencil. And I said, what did you do that for? And then, he, you know, uh, I remember this and I remember it all my life. And he set a great example. He said his, his, his uh, reason for selling it to him for the going price was, um, I cheat nobody and nobody cheats me. So. Um, I, I want to remember him for that. And so in his, in his work, uh, I, I guess being an accountant, that would be important to know that if he put his name on it, you, you could count. I would, I would trust it because um, just remembering what he was and um, now that, you know, being the last of the three brothers, it's difficult, but uh, I, I thank the Lord for the times that we've had and uh, the expectation that we will one day be together again. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Thank you all. Uh, take care. Thank you, Rina. Next on the list is uh, T's daughter, Jenna. Jenna, can you say a few words, please? So Jenna's gonna talk from over here. Come on. 
Oh, sit here. Have a seat. Okay. Hello. Um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, my dad, he always took us on many adventures. It was really fun. And he always encouraged me to be strong, to always smile, to keep on going and not to stop, you know? And so I try to do that as best as I can. Um, and uh, I guess I'll just end here if, or should I? Anything else you wanna add? No. Let's try if uh, Joshua is a little bit clearer. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. And expect people to be on. Uh, I don't want to. My father was a really good, good man. He was stoic, strong, good virtues, and uh, he always taught me a lot of good lessons. One to never give up and always stick with what you uh, what you start. And he was the best father one could ask for. And he really prepared me on the journey to life. It's unfortunate that he had to go too soon as, a, as it was said, but things happen for a reason, as I believe. And I believe that the Lord is guiding us all on new journeys and that he used my father's life to shed insight and just prepare us as well. And about the uh, legacies, I. it's a big thing to carry on. Uh, sometimes I don't think I'll be able to be just like my father in the sense of how he was holy in life, but I'm sure if he were still right here, he'd say, do what you want to do. And because it's your life and you choose what to do with it. So uh, I will do my best in accordance with his will and to carry on my father's legacy. And I'll watch over the family, be head of the household that I ought to be. And uh, again, thank you all for coming. And those are all the words I have to say. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Joshua. So right now we're gonna uh, listen to a solo from um, our dear friend, uh, Zyra Moi. She's uh, a wonderful singer, um, a member of the Mizo United Methodist Church. So let me play her video right now. <laughs>
Thank you so much uh, to um, Zarzara, as we affectionately call her. That was beautiful. Uh, right now, I'd like to invite um, T's colleagues um, from work, Jackie Cardello and Troy Turner. Ah, I see Jackie. So let me put you Hello. on spotlight. Hi. Hi. So I'm Jackie Cardello from, as mentioned previously, GRF CPAs and Advisors. And as it was brought up, we were T's work family. We also call ourselves GRF. And on behalf of all of us here at GRF, our deepest condolences to T's family. As you can see from the many, many GRFers that I see here attending this memorial, um, there are a lot of us. And that to me is a testament to how deeply he touched all of our lives. We were fortunate to have him with us for over 20 years as part of our GRF family. And he was known and, and loved by so many people for his very infectious, big smile, his cheer, cheerful demeanor. He was a heck of a softball player. Um, and these are all things that we will, we will truly miss. I, I would also like to invite um, one of my partners who worked very closely with T on a daily basis, Troy Turner from, from our tax department. And again, on behalf of all of us, our deep condolences, we will truly, truly miss T. And we just, we, we will miss him. Thank you very much, Jackie. So I'm gonna remove you from the spotlight. Uh, let's see if I can find Troy. Ah, okay, we found you. All right. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Great. Um, <clears throat> first, I'd like to thank Sari um, for that wonderful summary at the beginning of the service um, about T's life and um, the rest of his family for putting together that wonderful slideshow. So very well done. And T led a very meaningful life, a very fulfilling life that was evident by uh, the reading and the slideshow. And it was a I wish I knew a little more of those things about him. I feel a little sad today that I didn't quite know all those things, but uh, but <clears throat> as Jackie mentioned, um, I work with T in the tax department. I've been with the firm for 25 years and uh, T you know, was with us for a little over 20. Uh, we were coworkers and friends. Um, I feel very lucky to have known him so long and I'm grateful for his loyalty and dedication to his fellow colleagues. Um, I knew T as a soft-spoken, kind person who was always willing to help out wherever, whenever he, whenever he could. Uh, you could tell he enjoyed his work and everyone enjoyed working with him. As you all know, T had a passion for his hobbies and I feel fortunate to have been able to enjoy a couple of his hobbies with him on a few occasions. Uh, we played together on the GRF softball team uh, many years ago. Um, and we also played several rounds of golf uh, at uh, firm events. Uh, as you know, he was quite good at both um, and took those hobbies pretty seriously, but not so much that he didn't have fun doing them. Um, we talked a lot about golf um, and he would try to get me to come out and play with him and one of our colleagues, Mark. Um, I really regret now that I didn't take him up on that offer. In 2019, my wife was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer and as she went through all of her surgeries and treatments, T would stop by my office and ask how she was doing and share his experiences. Um, during that year that she battled, I felt shared empathy um, during those conversations with him as they came to realize what he had gone through just a few years before that. Then um, when we learned that his cancer had returned, it was really difficult knowing how much he had ahead of him Oh, he didn't seem to flinch at the time. We will miss T's presence, sense of humor, helpfulness, and compassion. I know I'll think of him each time I swing a golf club or a bat 
which is past um, his office. I will continue to pray for peace and strength and healing for his family. And I thank them very much for the opportunity to speak about him today. Thank you so much, Troy. Um, it means a lot to us um, that you and Jackie um, came and spoke today. Uh, right now, we're going to um, listen or, or um, ask. Oh, um, representatives from the Mizzou United Methodist Church and the Mizzou Society of America um, to give us a short condolence message and also show that they support a member of the Mizzou community as well as uh, the Mizzou United Methodist Church. Um, first, I'm going to ask, um, okay, Mr. Soma Bangchia, um, to appear on screen. I found you, so let me spotlight you. Um, and um, our service today is a mix of both. It's a hybrid service, both Mizo and English. So everyone uh, speaks in the language they're most comfortable. Thank you. Mizo United Methodist Church in Kanmembar. Ularin Tuang can chant a my he we can be in can we talk me when he can go from compassion ministry to an Ularin Tuang a clana in com he broke with the car neck can do a say can borrow in as their low bang in Hetia Zuma man a tool to my he can lung a kim low lea can be done pang aya ralna saying sang. And um so for those who didn't understand Mizo, um it is the uh policy of the Mizo United Methodist Church to support their members um with the when a bereavement um gift of uh, six thousand dollars and that's um that will be handed to the family later on. Right now, I'm going to ask um, Mr. Sekuma uh, to also offer words of condolence from the Mizo Society of America. Hello, can member Pula Rin Truang and Minboral Sun He Mizo Society of America in Can we talk Zeta Hunlo Kanti in Kan Society Tana Achanem Nainate? kan ngai hlu ani akal santa ka chungte hun harsa ahian msa in a sherenga kan tor pui tak zedani hetenga kan member boral an omin a sangthum zanga in kan in raw thina hetiang hian zoom service kan mang ta sia a kan in hlan thei ri lova amai ro chu hun rem cha ma sap tera a pil himi nena Kanon Pedonia, the car MSA, I owe in Caron Soyeni, eh? Kalome. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sekoma. Uh, and uh, the Mizo Society of America also uh, gives a bereavement gift to the family to show their support of uh, $3,500. Um, so on the program, uh, we have our uh, Dear friend and relative, uh, Ms. Rohlupui, but um, it's COVID time. She's not feeling very well today. So uh, we're sorry that she will not be able to sing for us today. Um, so right now I'm going to ask uh, our pastor, Reverend Vyatsunga Botsung, who is the pastor of the Mizo United Methodist Church, um, to give us his message of comfort and hope. Hola. 
ก็ต้องทดแทนสู้ถูกไหมอ่ะปัสสาวะสู้อ่ะกันยามิจฉาอยู่ในชั้นตัวพิสกุลของปัสสาวะกันนี่ส่วนเวเนียนอุตุอามะเวน่าเมมโมรียลเฮียนินทุจักนี่สมสมปังอาฟอร์เวลสุดทุรินรถกันยาพิเศษส่วนกรณีบัวสยามารถสู้เนี่ยต้องมีมันแต่ง่ายอ่ะถ้าเกิดตกกินนะกินอ่ะต้องต้องจะควรกระโดดสวยเลยเพราะว่าแล้วก็เนี่ยเฮียนไอ้การอุนเอาการเชียนการป่าดูตักไหมเห็นไหมบาร์ดูดูตักไหมดูดวงกันลงซาตาวันนี้ที่เอ็มอ่ะจีจวานินวันนี้ตาหน้าการเชียนลุงอ่ะการเชียนเรื่องตาหน้าปัจเจกนถูกการสวยดูแหละการเชียร์ดูจูสหรัฐบุษมประคัดจ้าสมนี่แหละประคัดอัตรังอัตรนินสมนี่ภาษาอิสระเฮียนยังอ่ะทุกวิถีจูเกย์แหละเกย์ฮิทอเลนแหละนู่นนั่นจูกันนี่ที่เฮียนตอนนี้เราเชียร์โอ้เดินมาร์ติจวนอีสวนเนี่ยละลัลป้าเฮตาอมนี่แล้วจูสมัยกันตัวลูกอะไร Lalpa heta omni lecu kan tu cara tiada dua tu lapo petian ni lah ingat apa yang petian ini apa yang jadi kerja eh ati ati ya isul ni lah ini tu cara tahu leang ati ya marti cuan ni lah ni kini tahu le lah cuan tahu le ang ti kerja kerja eh ati ya ten isul ni lah kini tahu le ni lah nuna cuan ni tu lapo miring cu tiba sila anu merang nuna piangin มีเรื่องจู่กลุ่มคว้าอินอธิลวังจู่จู่อีเรื่องเอ็มอธิยะเดือนอันนี้ชวนเนี่ยนะเรื่องเอ๋ลัลปาคริสตาปฏิทัพปาคเวลาโลกัลตุรัชินิติกับเรื่องเอ๋อธิยะจ้าสมลีเล่ปฐุบะชวนตินจู่ตัดจู่ที่อาจงจบเวลเล่จวนอริ่งตะกินลัสซาร์เราชัวร์อธิยะอาวะอาวะเดือนมิทิจู่อักุดอักเกทานปวนะ Tuam cungin alau cuak ta'a Ahmai po intruk na Buan tuam aniyah Isul nena an nena Hel ula kalkir ra'u atiyah Hello everybody, my name is Piak Chunga Bo Chung Pastor of Mizzou United Methodist Church Today I'm preaching in both Mizzou and English First in Mizzou And the scripture of this that I have chosen for our meditation is taken from John 11, 21 to uh, 27. Now Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary was sitting in the house. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives, and believes in me, shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. And verse 43, Now when he had said these things, he cried with a, a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And he who had died, come out, bound, hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to him, Loose him and let him go. When I got to see a talk, Lazar got to talk to one of you, Lazar, he bet on the Kua Aum and the Aum now, and a far no Marile Martitan and on Hova, the two one in a damn lot of that may be sure. Anda fikir tirta isu hati lahir ini alat bengong leh di turun di omnahi bungsom le 
ตีลาเฮนี่อาตัวไลฟ์ลงจนสวยตายละอันไหนวันวันคอลตะปวนยิงจุอะดังเทียงเบรินรอนชุกรอนตัลรอให้อิจฉันป่าอิอิมังอิ
ลัลอีซวนเฮลัสระไกโทฮีจันชินชาเซียกตูซานะจวนทิลตีมักตีอินอวะลวาทิลตีมักซุอะดินะเมวไมยะมะเซทิลตีมักปิยะละมะชินเ
So, may ring to ang iabangin ba ni Hianit. Kima sila, anong ring doon? Ah. Anong sa nga tila, ang da, ang temo, ang rin na ko nga temo, sa tibakin, ang nga ganti ang kay, do may kan fam kim lo, kung pera yan. Fam kim kan om lo, e ma ni du, dan pan kan ring tay lo, at tiyan du, dan sa ilo, ma sengin, sa tiyang ang, sa ni ma ila, krista na ganta na min lo to, sa to na le, ang kan suwala zong, zong kurak talo, pari tlangan lo, ken beto na, kan rin miyaw chuan, so tak may chuan, halay kuy na, min ang zir tiyan tung chuan, niya chuan vang in, kutuang ahi, Wen ya hian ki ma sala anum reng do ni anum reng ani pa ang chu a lim ta kin thamo ta kin a om to a chi ta a om to lo na na nom to lo na a lu ngai le tra ti om to lo na a ken sar ti om to lo na mun a chan tu a hian ku tuang a chu a a chol ta ni ti ki wen ya hian kan sui du ani ti chu a tu na sa prong in ke ka sui e rin ai kun ka mang a reng ti om ya Today, I'm talking about what Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, which we have read earlier. The story was in Bethany, where Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha, Martha lived. One day, Jesus uh, saw uh, Lazarus was ill and sick, and they sent for Jesus to come. But Jesus didn't go there quickly, immediately. He stayed two more days. He stayed two more days. Sometimes in our lives, we feel that God doesn't answer our prayer. God doesn't hear. We pray for Tuanga, for Tuanga many times, but uh, eventually, he succumbed to his illness and gone. So sometimes, brothers and sisters, we didn't get what we asked for. We didn't get what we prayed. We feel lonely. We feel many times desperate. Why Jesus stay two more days? Why stay? This is a very important question. If we read uh, in verse 5, we found the answer. Now Jesus, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Jesus loved Martha and her sister Mary and Lazarus. And if we continue to read, so when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. So basically what it says was Jesus stayed two more days because he loved them. He loved them. Let us remember that. In the Gospel of John, it is strange that he never said Jesus' miraculous work as miracle. He simply say signs signs there are many signs that jesus did but john selectively chose seven signs in john's gospel so here the raising of lazarus what does it mean why jesus delayed and what this Raising of the raising of Lazarus taught us for today's Christians. This is what we have to consider and we have to think about. Uh, <clears throat> sign means it goes beyond the visual occurrence. For example, Lazarus was raised from the dead. But it doesn't simply means that, oh, a dead man come alive. He was raised and then uh, he functioned as a normal human being. It signifies something beyond that raising. So in this verse, 
we have to find out what does it mean. If we continue to look at uh, Jesus arrive at the Bethany, and then Martha welcomed him, and then Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus said, your brother will rise again. And Martha said, yes, of course, he will rise in the resurrection at the last day. But here Jesus preached the funeral sermon ever preached, the best funeral sermon ever preached, what one, one preacher said like that. I like it. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. This is what it's all about. The raising of Lazarus has to teach us the believer's death is not the final. The believer's death for those who believe in Jesus Christ will never die. So this is the essence. This is the real meaning, the deeper meaning of raising of Lazarus. So today, our brother, Lazarus, uh, our brother, Tuama, is gone. We thought that he's gone. He will not, we, will not, we will no longer see him again. But uh, according to this scripture, we can assure, we can be certain that he is in a better place because he believes in Jesus Christ. He accepted, he received Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. He may not be perfect. We, are not, we all are not perfect. We all are we have uh, failures and uh, shortcomings. Yes, Duanga may have some uh, shortcomings and failures. He may not be perfect, but he believes Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. So we can assure that he is in the better place. No more death, no more suffering, no more weeping. And uh, no more cancer, no more sorrows. That still brings grief. That is still victorious and unstoppable. Yet, in Jesus is hope so that we do not need to grieve as those who have no hope. In Jesus, we have life eternal life, never ending life. Jesus asked Martha, do you believe this? And Martha replied, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the son of God. So my dear brother and sisters, how will we reply? Do you believe this? Let us all say that, yes, Lord, you are the son of God. You are the savior. So I, I trust all, I put all my trust in you. Let us uh, say, uh, along with Martha, that uh, Jesus is our Lord. Thank you. Cut this on card, the Maisela, a card, a role, a china, Milo Hatia Mula, a lapan, a token suite, the Kansa, Tanmal Missops, and Jose. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Gertua. At this time, uh, T's brother-in-law, my husband, Lian Tuomo Vangtia, is um, going to say a few words of thanks. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And long to say he... Amalan, 
ตุนาวเลตุจาอนมินเอนตุเตนาวเตกินนูเลปันฟาเตงอมินเอนตุกันโอเตตะตุจุวะกะลอกตะกะมะตอร์กาวกะวิเตกะมังเวเลยะเย
lead us in the song. If you know the song, please um, join us. <laughs> Thank you uh, very, very much, uh, Mr. Rema and Mr. Dinhuya and family. I'm going to stop sharing. So um, we are ending our program, and I'd like to ask Pastor Biatsunga for the benediction. Thank you. Amen.